Welcome to another edition of the Don't Argue with the legend himself, the Newcastle Knights superstar in Kirk Gidley and Gids. Two rounds down in the NRL, mate. And uh, all thanks to Palmer Bit, of course. And what a wonderful two rounds it has been. Hasn't it been unbelievable, some of the results it's been thrown up? Oh, mate, it's crazy, mate. I mean, if there's anyone out there who can give me some tip, tip and advice, um, I'm, happy to, I'm happy to take it. I mean... Mate, I've played in plenty of these games, but as far as being on the other side of the fence trying to tip who's going to win or lose, I'm going pretty poorly. Mate, well, you got you ran at 50% last week, mate. You got four out of the eight. So to be honest, I actually reckon if you're in a tipping competition, you got four out of eight, you might have kind of give yourself a bit of a tick last week because, uh, God, it's been tough. Well, mate, I've seen at work, uh, there's a couple of girls in, in the, from the Queensland team up uh up there, and they're they're at uh, they're at seven from eight after round one, and they've got seven from eight in round two. So, uh, man, uh, I'll maybe. give it away. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we need to get them think, on think, the fella. <laughs> mate, I'm thinking tonight I might just draw them out of a hat. <laughs> hey, the acid's going to be on. But what about the dolphins? Uh, two on the trot. Uh, you know, I think in our first preview show, Gids, um, we kind of looked at the season ahead, and, and you probably had them penciled in for probably four or five wins, if you're being truthful. Well, they've won two. They're yeah, not halfway point of that. That is unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, mate, for sure. I just wrote down here, Matty, before we jumped on, I don't think anyone, maybe other than the team and the, and the coaching staff, that would have expected they'd be two from two. I mean, I guess they they did want to fly under the radar for the preseason. It was pretty well um, documented on some of the high-profile players they'd missed out on, but... You know, obviously they worked really hard through the off season. They built some belief, and mate, they've they got off to a flying start, which is have great been, to see for a new team. Have you been watching the doco, the Dolphins? Uh, I must have been. I watched the first episode nah. last week, kids. It's a great insight. Wayne Bennett, geez, he's a ripper, isn't he? Yeah, for sure, mate. He's, he's a great man manager, Wayne. He seems to be able to say, you know, all the right things at the right time to get the best out of uh, anyone, any playing group. So, yeah, no, I haven't seen the doco. I mean, I always love those behind the scenes. Um, documentaries where you get a real insight into the players and the coaching staff and, you know, how hard they work and, you know, what they do outside of their uh, their footy career. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's a cracker, especially mm-hmm. with Wayne. Well, there's the way they're winning too, to be honest, kids. Like, uh, you know, I, I reckon they're brilliant against... Uh, a, well, mate, they're, they're, they're playing, mm-hmm. yeah, they're playing super enthusiastic and uh, with plenty of energy. So if they can keep bringing that, we'll see this Friday night. Now, what about the Dragons too, mate? Of course, they had the bye in round one. They come up against a, a side in the Gold Coast Titans who had a good victory in round one. And I think everyone was a little bit, you know, oh, well, I think the Titans can do it again. But gee whiz, they were good, weren't they? Yeah, they were good, mate. I think, mate, my comment just around any team that Ben Hunt's in is going to be a danger. I know he shouldn't be the only player that... Um, that, that team revolves around, but, you know, certainly, uh, you know, when he's playing, I just, you know, I do I do like the way he plays. I think when he's playing well, he leads the team well. And, I mean, examples of, you know, kick, kick, chase. We've seen it in Origin games. We've seen it with the Dragons. And uh, and he's, he's a big part of when they when they play well. So, yeah, off to a good start. Yeah, there are four points as well. But, um, yeah, mate, he's, he's, he's got another big game this week up in uh, yeah. Suncorp. Yeah, absolutely, mate. What about the Panthers and uh, the Rabbitohs? This was an absolute cracker. I must admit, I was glued to the TV uh, Friday night. And uh, Panthers off to a flyer. The Rabbits, they kind of come late, didn't they? But they just blew a few chances for mine early, especially in that first half, kids. Yeah, I was on the I was on the bunnies for this one. I thought they'd be right up for it. I guess there was a little bit of uncertainty around, you know, the Panthers going down to the World Club Challenge and then going down round one. Um, but you know they showed plenty of class and, and turned it around against you know a pretty pretty strong South team that they're fielding this year, the Bunnies. So um, mate, do, decent uh, decent win for the Panthers to get back on the uh, on the scoring sheet. Now, what about uh, your little clash, mate? Uh, the Tigers against the Knights. There was a bit of fire and a bit of spite in this one too, big fella. <laughs> Were you there, Gitz? No, I wasn't, mate. I was actually, mate. I was at the V8s, uh, Maddie, which was a cracking, cracking uh, mate, event for the weekend in Newcastle, the V8s. And then I, I quickly, um, I, I jumped on the, the the bike, mate, and headed home for for the Knights and Tigers game. So, mate, it, it was a, it was such a big game for both clubs. Obviously, no one wants to go zero and zero and two, and both teams, you know, have, have showed some inconsistencies and some uncertainty over the last few years. So. It was a big game for both clubs. I mean, mate, I thought it was a real courageous win 
They lost Kalen Ponga in the first minute and a half with concussion. Yeah. They lost Jaden Braley. Uh, they lost Jack Johns. And then um, uh, one of the Safridi boys got sent off with 15 minutes to go, which, yeah, yeah that, that's, that's still a few minutes to get the game done at that stage. But they thankfully, they showed some grit and some resilience and they, they held out the Tigers for a win. So, listen, where's it leave the Tigers? And, Matty, even a bit of... Even a bit of fire, mate, after the game. After where, the game, uh, mate, they want to go Jackson, on. Jack, Jackson, yeah, Jackson Hastings had a bit of a run in after where, the where, game with the. Where does it leave the, the Tigers, kids, honestly, because they're Norton 2 now. And and, and fair dinkum, you just went through, um, you know, the Knights had a few things that didn't go their way on the weekend, but they're still good enough to get across the line. So where is it, where's it leave the Tigers? Well, mate, Matty, I'll tell you where it leaves them. They've now got the Dogs who have come off a great win against the Storm. They've got the Storm the following week. They've got the Broncos, Eels, Manly, Panthers the next five weeks. Gee whiz. So there's a a bit in front of them, mate, at the moment. Um, And, and, you know, disappointingly, they they came into the start of the season with a fair bit of of expectation. Api Korosau, Papali'i, you know, Tim Sheen's back in charge, Benji Marshall, assistant coach. I, I heard, you know, I overheard Joey. Give him uh, that, that that the West Tigers were his smoky team for the year. So I mean, it's only two rounds in, but you know it does knock the confidence a bit. Yeah, absolutely, it does. What about the Broncos two and zip? That was a cracking game, the battle for Queensland. Can we still say that now with the Dolphins in the competition? But uh, seriously, uh, they they just uh, they're playing some really good ball at the moment, aren't they? Yeah, mate. I must eat my own words too a little bit because I, I wasn't sure about the Broncos this year. I guess you know with um with. Yeah, you know, some comments there about about Kevin Walters there in the off season. Well, they've, they've obviously swept that to the side, and and they're playing with mate again plenty of enthusiasm and energy and and speed, mate. Reese Walsh is uh is back to the Broncos after his short stint at the Warriors, and you know Ezra Mann, because Tony Staggs, um, you know they've they've got some genuine speed amongst their team, and and they're mate they're all playing for week, for for each other. That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Well, listen, let's have a look at the market update. Uh, the futures market, all thanks to Palmer Bet and firming for the flags. The Broncos go from 12s into 11s. The Dolphins, $51 into $36, kids. And the Dragons, yeah. <laughs> 51 into 41 So uh, a couple of moves, but the significant one there is the Dolphins who are sitting two and zip. Uh, wouldn't yeah. that be a story? Imagine that. Oh, crazy. Crazy it would be. Um Mate, yeah, I mean, they've, they've deserved the, the, the shortening up in the odds there. Yeah. But, um, mate, even just the, the support, I mean, they, it looked like they, they had a, a solid supporter base behind them, you know, with the Redcliffe background. But, uh, mate, that's going to grow after two rounds. I bet there's enormous. a few jumping on the back of the bandwagon now. And I reckon, uh, you know, all the jumpers and uh, all that, they're selling out, they tell me, up there in uh, southeast Queensland. It's just wonderful and exciting to see. It's uh, it's awesome stuff. Hey, uh, the drifters in the market, all thanks to Pumavit. The yields go from 19 to $26. Raiders, 26 to 31 And the Tigers, 46 to 76 It's virtually right your own ticket there, mate. Yeah, look, I think the the Eels have still got a, a, a great playing roster and a great coach. Um, so I don't think that them drifting out a little bit is going to, you know, be a be a big shift in the market. I still think they're going to be there at the end of the season. Um, they've got another big game this week against Manly um, on tomorrow, what well, Thursday night. And mate, the, yeah, the Raiders. I mean, I think we spoke about the Raiders at one stage here yeah, last last year where they were just struggling for form and they were inconsistent and. Yeah. Um, mate, they turned it around with a, with a great run into the semis there last year to be that eighth team. So um, I still yeah. think they're a club that shows some grit as well to get there. And Ricky Stewart will be pulling his hair out. Hey, listen, let's have a look at uh, round three action, kids. And it all starts Thursday night, all thanks to Palmer Bed at Four Pines Park. It's the Manly Sea Eagles taking on the Parramatta Eels, of course. And uh, the Sea Eagles had a wonderful win in round one. Had the week off, had the bye last week, so they're going to come in fresh. Eels and Norton, too. Bit of pressure there. Head-to-head, uh, the Eagles uh, at $1.60. The Eels at $2.17. At the line, the Sea Eagles at minus two and a half dollar ninety. The Eels at plus two and a half a dollar ninety. Key stats, all thanks to Palmerbeck Gids. Uh, the Sea Eagles hooker, uh, Lachlan Croker, is expected uh, after a head knock in round one. So he's expected to be right. For the Eels, Ryan Madison still a week away from completing his suspension. Um, and uh, so that's a big, big loss there. The Sea Eagles are looking for back-to-back mm. wins for the first time since last July. 
Uh, Parramatta halfback Mitch Moses has never won a game at Four Pines Park. So that's an interesting little wow. stat. And the last time the Eels started the season, Norton 3, was back in 2018. And they run last that season. So it is a massive game for the Parramatta Eels here, Gids. Yeah, mate, it is, Matty. I, and the Eagles, I thought they were pretty impressive, that round one clash against the Dogs. Really I know the Dogs were, 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 were off the mark for that first game of the but year, but, but mate, they're, they're the always form, tough mate. at Brookie. But if you look at the form, they've come out and give uh, and given the Storm a touch-up last week. So yeah. it really franks the know, it can, form, doesn't it? Mate, it can swing around. It can swing around quickly. Uh, but, mate, there's no doubt it's a massive one for the Eels. It's, it, it's a huge game. Um, for them to get their season underway and, and get some points on the board. So, but mate, it's the, the, the Eagles. They're tough at Brookie. It's a different environment. It's a different stadium. I mean, round one, I think it was sold out against the Dogs, and I expect another big one here on Thursday night. Um, mate, I just wanted to. You mentioned there, Ryan Madison still out for another week, and if you think back there to to last year, uh, he had the option of either paying the fine or being suspended for what is it, the first three three games of the year. And what a ridiculous decision that was in, in yes. hindsight that to miss to miss the first three games of the year. They're also none and two at the moment. And and uh instead of instead of fronting up with a bit of cabbage, mate. He yeah, must be I, he must love his cash. He must be tight. Be kicking yourself, <laughs> wouldn't you, mate? Seriously. Um, you know, and I reckon his teammates, I reckon the club in particular would be just going, what are we doing here? You know, like we shouldn't be in this spot. Well man, I'm not yeah, I'm 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 really surprised the club didn't come over the top and uh, and say, so, mate, you're paying the fine. But I I think they even went back to the NRL and tried to pay the fine, and the NRL said, no, nah, decision's been made. You're going to miss the first three games. <laughs> oh, that is unbelievable. <laughs> so, what are you going? Where are you going? So, mate, mate? I, I'm going to go, mate. I'm a, I'm on the Eagles, mate, for this one, Matty. I like their form round one, and I'm going to I'm going to go a little multi, mate. Same game multi, mainly to win. And Ruben Garrick any time try scorer, two bucks forty five. Beautiful, beautiful big fella. I'm on the Seagulls too. I reckon they'll get the job done. They're impressive in round one. Hey, uh, Knights v Dolphin. Uh, Dolphins, this is Friday night at McDonald Jones Stadium. Uh, the Knights looking for back-to-back victories here. The Dolphins looking to go three and zip, and they will be the third team in franchise history to do that, which is an interesting stat. Wow. Head-to-head, all thanks to Palmerbet. The Knights are two bucks. Dolphins are dollar eighty. They are the faves. At the line, <laughs> Knights minus plus one. Oh, sorry. The, at the line, the Knights plus one and a half dollar ninety. Dolphins minus one and a half a dollar ninety. Now the Knights decimated by injuries, of course. Caelan Ponga, Jaden Braley out with concussion. Frizzle John's questionable, and uh, Jacob Safidi to miss the game through suspension. The Dolphins, Jeremy Marshall King to miss this week through suspension as well. The Knights have only won gigs one of their last eleven games at McDonald Jones Stadium, so that's a big stat in itself. Um, which way are you yeah. going, mate? Are you, are you sticking? Oh, fat, mate, uh, are you sticking loyal with the Newcastle Knights here, big fella? Oh, well, mate, a few, a few things. I guess that stats a really poor one. You know, as a current, if you're a current player and you and you've seen that, um, or you're aware that you've only won one game in your last eleven at McDonald Jones, like that, that's your home ground, that's your fortress, and that's something that you know from from 1988, the Newcastle Knights built built Rise their their career, on. their their um. Their building blocks on, mate, was if you come to Newcastle, you're going to be in for a tough game. And even if the team doesn't win, then they're going to send you home with some bruises and batted it, bat it up. So that, that should be the focus for, for the club and the team this year and the current players that, hey, we're going to we're going to bust our ass and we're going to give this other team a bit of a hiding. And, um, and you know what? If we don't come out on front, um, we're going to let them know that, that they've come to Newcastle. So yeah. I think they, that needs to be spoken about um, this week. But also, mate, you know, it's... It's there's a few key players out. You know, Caelan Pong is out with concussion. Jaden Braley's out. Yeah. Jacob Safudi, Tyson Frizzell, Jack Johns has had his first game there last week. He's in doubt. Um, so they're up against some adversity, mate, this week for their first home game of the year. And mate, I, I've got a different bit of a different multi, Matty. I jumped on the Palmer Bet app, mate, which is a cracker this afternoon. <laughs> and I've, I've done a bit of research, mate. I'm going to go with. The overs over forty five, for uh, over forty point five points total points, yeah. And Knights to score first, so the be the wow. first point scorer of the game. So I'm gonna you know so can be a try. 
So you're not actually saying whether the Knights are going to win here, kids. You just kind of... Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> this is clever. You're just listening closely. <laughs> I've, I've gone for the overs bet and <laughs> and I've gone for Knights to score first. Could be a goal, could be a field goal, could be a try. Oh, and I mean, that'll wait. pick you up 3 bucks eighty-five. I can't wait to get you pick the card this week, mate, to see if you go with the Knights then. That's what I'm going to be having. <laughs> Just hold tight on that one. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, it's a double header, of course, Friday night. Roosters taking on the Rabbitohs. This is at 8 p.m. Allianz Stadium. Head head all thanks to Palmer Vet. The Roosters, $2.10. Rabbitohs, $1.74 at the line. The Roosters, plus one and a half at dollar ninety. Rabbits, minus one and a half at dollar ninety. Key stats here, the Roosters. And both these teams, one and one, too, after two rounds, kids. So the Roosters hooker, Brandon Smith, looks unlikely. Uh, Jared Warrera Hargraves and Victor Radley are set to return, which is massive ins there for the Chooks. For the Rabbits, uh, prop to Vita Totola is back on deck after missing round two. So that's a big inclusion. The Roosters have won only one of their last six games against the Bunnies. That's a big one. And South winger Alex Johnson has scored 11 tries in his last six games against the Chooks. The Roosters have won 10 of their past 12 home games. So how do you weigh all that up and which way do you go, Gids? All thanks to Palmer Bet. Yeah, well, mate, there's, there's a bit. Of, there was a bit of banter. Remember when the stadium opened there last year, around who, whose whose official home ground it was, and you had Nick Polites yeah. coming out. You had South Sydney um, board members and and players coming out that were saying it's close. You know, it's Redfern area and um, the battle for Alex. You, know, you look at Alex Johnson. Yeah, Allianz Allianz Stadium. So, mate, I, I, look, uh, we're here at Hargraves back for the Roosters. I just think he he lifts all the players, not just the forward pack, but he obviously brings some aggression and he brings some leadership. So he's a big in, I think. And Victor Radley, you know, tough, tough player and resilient player for, for the Roosters. I don't know. I just think, I, I I mean, if you remember this game last year, remember remember this game last year? It was chaos. It was blokes getting knocked out and concussed everywhere. Well, it was yep. absolute madness. And I think we could probably expect the same again. I mean, I'm sure the coaches are keen for the players, the key players to remain on the field. I still think both teams get right up for this one. Um, I, I'm leaning towards the, the the bunnies, mate, for this one. Only just going with minus minus one point five start dollar ninety. So I, I just think you know the cohesion around their halves and Latrell Mitchell and Alex Johnson. I, I, I think they might get this one. Right, eh? so I think it's going to be tight. With uh, with the inclusions there for the uh, the Roosters, uh, you're, you're actually happy. You're going to go with the uh, Rabbitohs, mate. I like it. Right, ain't going to be a close game. Yep. Let's turn our attention. Titans v Storm, Saturday, 3 p.m. at Seabus Super Stadium. Head to head, the Titans, two fifty five. Storm at dollar fifty two at the line. The Titans plus six and a half at dollar ninety. Storm minus six and a half at dollar ninety. Key stats here: Titans hooker Sam Verrills will be monitored after leaving the field with a shoulder injury in their loss to the Dragons. For the Storm. Prop Nelson Asofa Solomona is out six to eight weeks, they're saying, with a knee injury. That's a huge blow for the Storm. Mm. The Titans have not beaten the Storm at home since 2013, while the Storm have won eight straight against the Titans. And Titans utility Jaden Campbell has scored seven tries in his last nine home games. Um, really interesting contest. Another, both teams one and one. Um, so this is a vital contest for both these sides, Gids. Yeah, it is, Matty. I, I mean, I've seen Craig Bell miss press, press conference after the game and, and I think his words were, we got what we deserved, which is, um, you know, straight to straight to the heart for the players. But um, look, they, were, they, they weren't up to it last week. The dogs got them in enthusiasm. Um, Asafa Solomona um, being out for that long is a big loss. They do have some inclusions. Justin Ollum is a, man, he's one of my favourite players in the competition. He's back, the first game of the year. Tarek Sims in his first game down there and Xavier Coates is back. So, I do think um, they're still, you know, got a fair team on, on paper yep. here. So I, I'm going to go with the Storm, mate, 1 to 12, about three bucks. Oh, I reckon uh, Big Craig will have the boys absolutely fired up. He was uh, not happy last week. So I reckon he'll have them pretty, pretty pumped and ruined to go this weekend. Weather looks yep, good. Yeah, you think so? Of a Gold Coast. Hey, uh, Saturday afternoon, 5.30 at uh, Country Bank Stadium. It's the Cowboys taking on the New Zealand Warriors. Head to head, the Cowboys, dollar thirty-five. Warriors at three twenty-three. At the line, the Cowboys, minus nine and a half, dollar ninety. Warriors, plus nine and a half, a dollar ninety. Of course, the Cowboys going down to the Broncos last week. Key stats, all thanks to Palmer Bet, Scotty Drinkwater, and Peter Hiku will both miss the game through suspension. While for the Warriors, Charles Nickel Clockstad. And Jackson Ford need to pass con uh, concussion protocols 
to play this week. Over the first two rounds, the Warriors are averaging six line breaks per game, which leads the league. The Warriors, though, have only won one of their past six games in Townsville. Do you expect the Cowboys to bounce back here at home? They're always hard to beat up there, aren't they, kids? Yeah, they are, mate. They're tough. I think they'll be disappointed in the in the Queensland derby there last week going down. Um, I, I do think Drinkwater and Peter Hiku are the two class players that they'll miss for this week's game for sure. I, I mean, I, I played with Peter Hiku at the Warrington Wolves, mate, in the Super League, and even... At that stage, I, th- I was thinking he still should be playing NRL. Um, Scott Drinkwater at fullback has been a great inclusion since they moved him from the halves to fullback there last year. Uh, but I think they'll bounce back strong and back at their home ground. And, mate, it's still going to be warm this time of year up there. So I'm, I'm wondering how the Warriors are going to handle that heat. So I'm going to go a bit of a blowout score for the Cowboys, 13 plus, mate, 225. Ooh, Right, eight. Thinking they're going to get the mm. job done comfortably. Uh, Broncos v Dragons Saturday night, seven thirty-five, Suncorp Stadium. The Broncos looking to go three and zip head to head. They're a dollar thirty. Dragons at three fifty-six. Broncos at the line minus ten and a half dollar ninety. Dragons plus ten and a half a dollar ninety. Key stats for the Broncos: Winger Corey Oates is out with a broken jaw. Big loss for the Dragons. Jack DeBillen looks to return after missing round two through injury. Broncos are looking to start the season three and zip for the first time, kids. Since when do you reckon? Don't look at your sheet. First time they're going to go through and zip since 2009. That is massive. So that's been 2009. a 2009. So this is I wouldn't guess that. I was thinking about 20. I was thinking about 2015, but that's a long time ago. That 2009, mate. The Dragons have lost their last five games at Suncorp Stadium as well. Which way are you going here, big fella? Oh, mate, I, I think I'll stick with the Broncos with you know the the speed of their play at the moment and the cohesion that they they're playing with. I think they're, they're playing with some up, real belief. It? Yeah, yeah, they're playing with some real belief at the moment, mate. You know, they get a great crowd at at, um, at Suncorp. Uh, that's for sure. I, I guess, mate, the only thing uh, which is swaying me the other way is, is, mate, Ben Hunt. Like he knows Suncorp like the back of his hand. So you know, whether it's kicking game, running game. Uh, I do. I do think he performs at Suncorp. I think he feels at home there, and he feels comfortable. Um, he's played there plenty of times, so that might that might be something to factor in if anyone's thinking a Dragons win here. Going to be like, do you reckon, for him, mate? I think he's pretty well respected, mate, up there. You know, I know that he played a long time at um, at the Bronx, but I, I do think he's well respected from the Queensland fans. And um, they won't. But you know, I, I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough to, to get them over the line. I've gone with the Broncos, uh, 13 plus here, mate. Just over two bucks. Beautiful, mate. Right, let's turn our attention to Sunday footy. It's the Bulldogs taking on a really disappointing Tigers thus far. 405 at Belmore Sports Ground. Head to head, the Bulldogs, $1.43. The Tigers at $285. Bulldogs at the line, minus six and a half, dollar ninety. Tigers plus six and a half at a dollar ninety. Key stats. Uh Bulldogs sticking with their same 17 for their round three clash. And why wouldn't you over after a great victory against the storm? For the Tigers, Jake Simpkin and uh, Tommy Talau are expected to miss the game through concussion. Um, but uh, Johnny Bateman, the Englishman, looks set to make his Tigers debut. Is it enough to fire him up? The Bulldogs have won only three of their past nine games at their traditional home ground at Belmore. So that's interesting. Uh, which way are you going? Yeah. Here, yeah, well, Matt, well, I did see it was at Belmore, which I, I'd imagine that would be sold out pretty quick. Yeah, that one would have been. But, yeah, that's not a great stat. Um, only three wins from their past nine games here. You think that would be a bit of a spiritual home and that that would get the players up to um, – to win at that type of ground. Um, oh, mate, it, it, look, this is a bit of a test for the Bulldogs, isn't it, um, against the Tigers who are none from two and are a little bit down at the moment and probably got a few question marks over them. The, the Bulldogs really need to um, to perform well and make sure they, they get this one done at, at Belmore. There's no guarantees, mate, in any game. We've seen that in the first two weeks with some major upsets. And, Absolutely. You know, who, who knows? Who knows if the Tigers come with some with some some grit and some uh, and some belief that they, they could get an upset here, but I, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna stick with the dog. They just need to replicate, mate, the the enthusiasm and the effort they play Melbourne with, and, and we've seen you know that before with with teams getting right up for for the top teams and the most consistent teams to try and to try and knock them off. Well, you got you got to back that up for the following week when you come up a team that's you know, beneath you and, and at the bottom of the table that uh, have got a few question marks around because you, you just can't be complacent in this competition. 
Yeah, 100%, mate. Yeah, good call. Hey, let's turn our attention to the final game, mate. It's the Raiders taking on the Sharks Sunday, 6.15 p.m. GIO Stadium. Head-to-head Raiders, 2.35. The Sharks at $1.60. Raiders at the line, plus $3.50. Sharks minus $3.50. All thanks to Palmerbet. And the key stats here uh, for the Raiders, representative prop uh, Josh Papalai set to make his return in round three after missing the first two games. So big inclusion there for the Raiders. While for the Sharks, reigning Deli M medalist Nico Hines is on track to make his season debut. That is huge. Sharks have scored the equal most points after two games while committing the second most errors. Um, so that's an amazing stat. And uh, the North two Raiders have won their last eight games against the Sharks. So uh, honestly, mate, where do you how do you see this one, big fella? Yeah, well, mate. Um, again, I, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Sharks. That they 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 didn't win their round one, but they they came back last week and they they had a crack and win. I do like William Kennedy at fullback. I think he's got amazing speed and and he's able to um to to support his his teammates really well. Um, yep. So yeah, big big fan of him. I did look at the team. I didn't see Nico Hines' um, name. Not in the seven, not just in the seven or in, but I think the extended extended bench. So I'm not sure if he's going to get there again for this week. I'm not sure if there's op- options to still include him don't in the squad at the back end of the week. But I th- kids don't ever doubt the team of Palmer bit, mate. They got the inside oil, big fella. So they'll be all over it. No, 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 no. I, I, there's no way I'm doubting the the, the experience <laughs> of the Palmer bit boys. But um, look, getting down to the game, my head's going with the Sharks. But mate, we also seen some some. Pretty amazing performances by the Raiders. They're at home, um, which is a it's a yeah, tough ground to play to play yeah. the Raiders at. And we see them get right up for teams last year. So, you know, that might be a bit of an outside smoky. Uh, I know they're one to twelve, they're three bucks seventy five, but I think just head to head, I have got to stick with the Sharks. Yeah, you like the Sharks, don't you, mate? You're sticking fat, uh, that is for sure. Yep. And uh, it, it's going to be a, a wonderful game, this one. I reckon uh, possibly one of the matches of the round, um, to be honest, Gids. I reckon the whole round, uh, there's going to be some absolute crackers. But, Gids, I want you now, uh, we said you tipped the four out of the eight last week, which I, I'm giving a bit of a tick to, mate. But what's your multi? What's your multi? What do you got for us this week, big fella? I'm going to punch this straight into the app too, mate. Mate, the Gids best bet, mate, for this week. I'm going to go South to win one to twelve, and then I'm going to go South to score the first points and South to score the last points of the game. Just you stick it in the one game. This is good. I'm going to, I, I, yeah, I like, mate. I like on the Palmer Bet app the the same game multi yeah, feature. Yeah, love it. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. It's a beauty. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yep. absolutely. Yeah, pretty creative, mate, with that one. Right, and that's going to give seven dollars twelve, mate. Um, so um, seven bucks twelve, okay. Seven dollars twelve, which is oh, I like it, mate. That's a that's a nice little value bet. Now, what about the pick the round, big fella? We need to redeem. Well, mate, I, here, I'm, mate. I'm, I'm I'm wondering, mate. I've, I've written down my pick the round, but should I just go the opposite to whatever I picked? <laughs> yeah, I might mate. be a better chance of getting some decent results. Come on, mate, <laughs> stick the neck on the line. Well, what are you going for? Who are you going for? But you know, I'm interested in the Newcastle Knights game because you never ever see <laughs> who you're tipping. So which way are you going? Well, mate, are you ready? It yes. is. I've got Manly yes. Knights. Yes. South. Storm. Hang on, so you Cowboys. Go on, you go on the Knights, right? Are good. Yep. Um, Cowboys, Broncos, Dogs, Sharks. Right. So Manly, so a... Knights, South Sydney, Melbourne Storm, Cowboys, Broncos, Dogs, Sharks. That is going to give you just under thirty six dollars, mate. Thirty five ninety four uh, on Palmer Bet, mate. That is pretty good value well, to tip the card this week. That's pretty juicy. That's pretty juicy, mate. And. Um... And if that doesn't work for me this week, I'll I'll, I'll get my, my little girl who's four years old, Hallie, down here to pick the pick the ones next week. <laughs> if that doesn't, yeah, if that doesn't work, mate. Go to the girls at the tipping comp, the the girls from Queensland, mate, that are leading the way uh, with a yeah. couple of sevens in the first couple of weeks. That is huge. Hey, download the app, get involved, uh, as we always say, to gamble responsibly. But I want to say, two kids, what are we really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call 1-800-858-858 or you can visit the gamblinghelponline.org.au website. Okay, so if uh, if it is an issue, go there and uh, and get some help and get the help that's needed. But uh, all in all, have a bit of fun uh, while we're doing it. That's what it's all about, kids. And that's what we're all about, mate. And uh, to be honest, you've actually escaped 
Uh, the wrath of our social media follows, followers so far, Gids. Right. Uh, the boys from Palmer Bet, they're just collating and they're putting a few of these together. Uh, if you don't fire up this weekend, mate, I'm tipping that they're going to be coming for you pretty hard, big fella, right? So uh, we want to... Well, that's, that's okay, mate. Well. I do have a pretty thick skin, thankfully, mate. But um, you know what? If uh, if I don't get off to a decent start on the Thursday night, maybe um, maybe pull me aside at the uh, the Knights versus the Dolphins game on, on Friday night and just give me a little clip over the years and, and tell me to pull my head in. Love it, but, mate. mate. I'm looking forward to um, first first um, first game at McDonald Jones Stadium, mate, this week for uh, for the Newcastle and the Hunter Valley fans, mate. Which I know everyone everyone loves their footy in this area and uh, are excited to see um, Friday night footy back at the stadium. And they got to improve that one and eleven record, kids. That's the key, mate. They got to fire up the Newcastle boys. It's going to be a beauty. Hey, mate, have a wonderful week. Looking forward to round three action of the NRL. All thanks to Palmer Bet, of course. And we'll see you next week, big fella. All the best. Good luck, everyone. What are you really gambling with? 